When we first met the Hussein Ismail family last year, they were worrying about how they would pay their bills each month after their salaries were slashed. Kahar works for the government and Bakal teaches. The government owes them even more money, $15,000 in unpaid wages, but at least now they're getting paid their full salaries. We still feel insecure. We're getting our full salaries now, but we can't be sure that will be the case next month. There are 1.4 million people working for the government and public sector in the semi-autonomous region of northern Iraq. They watch their paychecks shrink or disappear beginning in 2014. That's when the war with ISIL began, the price of oil plummeted, and the federal government in Baghdad cut budget payments to the Kurdistan regional government. Austerity measures were implemented, and workers paid the price with reduced salaries. The dispute has been resolved. The new prime minister who came to power this year says the estimated $10 billion that's owed to public sector employees will be paid although he's not given a time frame. The government says unemployment has dropped from 14 percent in 2016 to 9 percent so far this year. There's more confidence among people like businessman Kamal Aga. He develops residential and commercial buildings. He says when ISIL began terrorizing the region, he was forced to put 20 percent of his construction projects on hold. I lost between 14 and 16 million dollars. Now I have a belief with the stability of the situation in the Kurdish region, the wheels of the economy will be back on track, we'll earn money again and business will be fine. With the freedom to think beyond meeting their minimum expenses, Bakal is focusing on the family's future. We have plans in our heads. The first one is to visit the doctor so we can pay for fertility treatments to have a second child. If we keep getting our salaries as we are now, we'll be able to fulfill our dreams. For their four-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Tanuk, the hope of having a sibling to play with can't come quickly enough. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Erbil.